boy tried to slip away, but the old witch wouldn't let him go so easily. The boy pulled out his last pancake. The old witch ate the pancake. She didn't want to hurt the boy anymore. She took her coat off the fruit tree and gave it to the boy. It was a great coat. When the man put it on, he became a little boy. And before he knew it, the old witch pulled the boy back to his old self. The witch turned it inside out and gave it to the boy. The boy became an old boy. This is a great treasure. The boy was going to do great things with it. A week later he came to the king's castle wearing it backwards. He said he had come to shave the king's head. Two soldiers took him to the king's room. The king couldn't tell that this was the same boy who had shaved his head last week. The maneuver was the same as before. And his movements were the same. The king was satisfied with his bare head. He said he'd give him a box of jewelry. The old man opened it and said. I can't spend all the jewelry you've given me. The king was shocked and rushed up to push the old man away to see for himself. The old man pushed behind him. The king wanted to drag the old man in with him. The old man had an idea. Take off his coat and he'll be young and have no mustache. Sure enough, the king missed his chance. He fell into a cave of his own design. Cursing and swearing, soldiers rushed in at the sound of his voice. But the house was empty. When the soldiers came to check, the boy slipped away. The boy becomes a little boy and walks out of the castle. The soldiers at the gate were completely unaware of it. Only after he had gone did the boy change back to his original form. From then on, the shavers no longer had to live in fear of their lives.